The following takes place between 6 a.m. and 7 a.m. This is Beta Leader. I have two armed guards patrolling the above decks. I don't know how many below. You're clear to continue in, but I want each and every position called. There's illegal arms shipments aboard and at least 200 kilos of the biotoxin ricin. Everything points to these people being on the defensive. If they even find out we're in the area, they'll blow the holds and release the toxin into the water system. Are we clear? We copy you, Beta Leader. Beta Leader, they've got the ship rigged. We tripped the switch. They don't know we're here yet. They will soon. Damn it. We're heading in. We need to get on board and stop the detonation of the rice and cargo. Maintain positions. We cannot afford to make any mistakes. Let's go! Can you defuse this? If not, I need to know right now. I can defuse it. What do you need from me? Nothing. Once I set up, we'll be good to go. CTU, O'Brien. Chloe. Chase. I've been given a job by car. Do you think they're on to you? No. No, if they were on to me, I'd be dead by now. These guys don't mess around. Whatever they're working on is something big, and I need to get to the bottom of it. Jack, what's your status? How much longer? I'm starting now. Stand by. Starting bomb defusal. Alpha Team Leader, we have defused the detonator. Copy that. Sending an hazmat to take care of the payload. Do you have any eyes on the arms shipments? Negative. Nothing here but empty gun containers. Looks like the ship's already been offloaded. Put the guns away. Put I said put the guns away. Those are the blueprints you wanted. Now let's talk about where I stand in this organization. We'll tell you where you stand, and if you don't like it, you... I can what? I've been running errands for you for the past year and a half, and I've got nothing to show for it. Now unless I start being cut in, I walk. I know how doing these pissant... I walk. I know how doing these pissant jobs kills you. I'm gonna get more. A buddy of ours, a guy by the name of Ricky Roberts, is gonna be pulling a small hit for us later today. He got together with a group of people, and they've proven to be pretty resourceful. They've proven to be pretty resourceful. I heard Ricky Roberts moved out west. He did. The hit's going down in L.A. So who pissed you off so much that you've hired some surfer boy convert to kill him? The following takes place between 7 a.m. and 8 a.m. place between 7 a.m. and 8 a.m. I want this taken back to CTU for analysis right now. Dessler. Michelle, I'm sending you a PDA that looks like it's encrypted. I need to know what's on it. I'll put Sean on it as soon as it arrives. This is too sensitive for a rookie. I want someone else on it. I trained Sean. He can do this. And Vice President Prescott will be in Los Angeles for the next three days, whereby he hopes some resolution to the labor disputes will have been reached. Jack. We got the ricin biotoxin, but the arm shipments, they're missing. All right, we got the ricin, that's something. I'll talk to the division about following up with the missing weapons. There's nothing more we can do about it right now. Tony, there's something else. We found the entire crew dead in one of the cargo holds. Any idea who gave CTU the tip on raiding the cargo ship? No. All we know is that it was called in from a payphone about four blocks from Los Angeles Harbor. Why, what are you thinking? That this isn't over. Assassinating the vice president. Why aren't you calling me on your cell? This line could be tapped. No, I don't have a choice. The bunker I'm in blocks cell signals. Now listen to me. The vice president's in Los Angeles, and they're planning on having him assassinated sometime today. When? I don't know. You need to connect me to Los Angeles CTU. Okay, hold on. Chase, you're on with LA CTU. This is Tony Almeida, special agent in charge. Agent Almeida, my name's Agent Chase Edmonds, DC CTU. Now, I've just gotten word that there'll be an assassination attempt on the vice president later today. 
I need details if we're gonna move forward on this. Well, I don't have many details. All I can say is that a man by the name of Ricky Roberts is involved. He's from DC, recently moved to Los Angeles. Sean? Already on it. Ricky Roberts. Bauer. Jack, we've gotten word from DCCTU. There's gonna be an assassination attempt on the vice president sometime today. You don't know when? No, but we have an address of someone involved. It's not far from your current position. I'm uploading his information to you right now. Robert Daniels? Apparently he's relatively new to L.A., but his connections stem from D.C. I'm on my way. I'll let you know what I find. Agent Edmonds, what did you find out? We found an address. We have our lead field agent checking it out now. It goes. Take care of this. Wait a minute, that's it? You'll let me know how it goes? Yeah. It's in our hands now. Chloe, are you still there? I need a flight to Los Angeles. You can't do that. Sonia will never agree to it. Going around, Sonia. Chase, the phone line's being tapped. <sighs> Damn it! Send a chopper. Give me 20 minutes to lock down the base and take everyone out. Are you crazy? You need to wait for backup. 20 minutes, Chloe. following takes place between 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. Bauer. Jack, we haven't been able to find any more information on Daniels, so we don't have any idea when he might be leaving the address you have. We're worried he's going to take off soon. How close are you? I'm almost there. You need to hurry. He's the only lead we have right now. I'll be there. Thank you, Mr. Edmonds. Your flight will be taking off in about an hour. Good morning, Mr. Vice President. Morning. Dessler. Michelle, it's Jack. Robert Daniels just entered an office building located at 1023 North Bronson. I need the floor plans of the building as soon as I can get them. 1023 North Bronson is right in the heart of the financial district. What's Daniels doing there? I don't know, but I need to find out before he gets to where he's going. Dodge! You bastard! You, uh, you shot me! I want answers and I want them now. Uh, okay, okay. Talk! The following takes place between 9 a.m. and 10 a.m. One answers! What's the assassination plan? <laughs> You shot me! I need a doctor! Plan is... It's nothing to do with me. You, you got the wrong guy. I know who you are, Robert. Your friends turned on you. Nothing. You've got nothing! Talk and we might be able to cut a deal. There's nothing you can do to stop it. Son of a bitch! Snipers on the rooftops, is that it? It's too late! There are too many of them for you to stop. I need a, I need a doctor! I'll call an ambulance as soon as you start cooperating. It's too late for you to do anything. I'll help you unless you work with me. There's too many. You can't stop them. Come on, Robert. This is important. How many snipers are there? There are seven snipers. What are their positions? All I know is that they're on rooftops motorcade route in this part of town. Give me the location on the snipers! Never! I'll never tell you! Can't access it. The door is electronically locked. Is there a code? You, you, you do need a code, but, but, but I don't have any idea what it is, I swear! This is your last chance. I want the code. Give it to me now! It's... It's 603-1968. I swear that's the code. 603-1968.
you realize it's not gonna matter. Then you're too late. Dessler. Michelle, Daniels told me that there's seven snipers positioned around the vice president's motorcade route. Have you gotten through to Secret Service? No, the signal's still jammed. That's what I was afraid of. I'm gonna have to take out each sniper individually. No, all I know is that they're in buildings waiting for the motorcade to pass. I'll have Sean see if he can locate them using SatNav-1. Call me when you've got something. Sean, have you ever worked with a satellite vidlink? Everything I've done has been with simulations, just training exercises. I've never... That's good enough. You need to sign on using HMC protocol. There's not much time. We need to upload this to Jack's GPS immediately. I'm on it. Yeah. Sean's uploading the target info on your GPS right now. You should have it any second. Got it. Good job, Jack. Our flight time to Los Angeles will be approximately five hours. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. Almeida. I need medics here right now. We've got people down. It should only be another couple of minutes. Some of these people might not have a couple of minutes. Sir, get back! My name is Agent Jack Bauer. I'm with Los Angeles CTU. Do you understand me? Yes. Good. That's good. I'm gonna get you to a hospital as quickly as I can. No, that's my fault. Send her in. What's going on? We have an intern starting today. With everything that's been going on, I completely forgot. There's no way we can have an intern starting today. There's too much going on. Our new intern is Kim Bauer. Where do you want me? Look, Kim, uh, this isn't the best day for you to start. Oh. OK. Kim Bauer, right? Yes. Great. Glad you're here. Sean Walker. Follow me to the tech room. I'll get you started. The following takes place between 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. Dessler. Michelle, Daniels has taken off in a stolen car from the assassination site. I'm trailing him onto the freeway. I'll let you know where he leads me. He's shadowing Robert Daniels. Thinks he'll lead him somewhere. Until Sean decrypts that PDA, Daniels is the only lead we've got. Do you want me to pull Sean off the decryption and take over? No, not yet. I've gotten through the but it looks like the data was scrambled when the initial encryption took place. We won't know anything until I repair the damaged files and download them to my system. How long will that take? It shouldn't take... Wait a second. Oh, no. What's going on? There must have been a fail-safe mechanism. I need to get the information off this thing in less than seven minutes, or it'll lock down and be impossible to decipher. That's all I was able to get. The crew manifest, I understand, but the photo... Run a cross-reference on the list of dead crewmen that were found on the cargo ship and this new crew manifest. Yeah, I'm on it. Lee Jin Yu. His is the only name that's not on both lists. He's on the crew manifest, but wasn't on the cargo ship. Well, we need to find him. Now. ago, individuals acting against the United States government attempted to remove me from office through assassination. Another group of individuals tried to take the life of President Prescott. At this time is critical. Yeah. I've reconfirmed that the on-record address we were able to find for Lee Jin Yu is obsolete. So you think the paper trail to this liquor store is our best bet? Yu has had three credit card transactions there in the past week, not to mention the weeks prior. The owner of the place is a Mr. Shin. He should know him. 
Let's hope so. There's nowhere for you to go. I need you to cooperate. Answer a few questions. Can you do that? Some will say I'm in no condition to return to office. I say my health is in optimum condition. I say I have never been stronger. I, who have a sworn duty to lead this country in times of peace and in times of war, shall retake my place at the head of government. The following takes place between 11 a.m. and 12 p.m. And we are off the air. Mr. President, you did well. I wish I thought so, Kevin. Soon you'll be feeling like your old self. Sir, you're growing stronger every day. It's just a matter of time. You know that. You should be one of my advisors. They don't give me pep talks like this. My job is to make you well, sir. That includes helping you in any way I can. Thank you, Kevin. I've got Jin Yu's current address. It's not that far from here. I'm on my way there right now. What's the address? I'll send back up to meet you. 8025 Orion. It may take a team a little while to arrive. That's fine. Have them meet me when they get there. I'll keep you updated. Okay. Almeida. Have you arrived at Yu's apartment yet? I just got here. I managed to find his apartment number for you. It's apartment 628. All right, thanks. My name is Agent Almeida. I'm a federal agent with Los Angeles County. I need to inform you that I'm taking you into custody. The following takes place between 12 p.m. and 1 p.m. It's Jack. I'm in Thousand Oaks at a meat processing plant. It's the base of the men responsible for the vice president's assassination attempt. I'll send a team in right now. Give me the address. Take him to interrogation room three. Yes, sir. Were you able to pull anything else off that PDA? No, nothing. Whoever encrypted it knew what they were doing. Maybe he can shed some light on this. Almeida. There's gonna be a sarin gas attack on the metro system. Eddie Kane's got four teams on their way now. Who is this? Hello? Hello? Did you just transfer a call to my office? No. What's going on? I just got a call saying there's gonna be an attack on the Los Angeles metro system today. Who was it? They didn't say. That's two anonymous phone calls in one day. How serious do you think this threat is? I don't know. Dispatching. I'm going. I'll have a vehicle waiting for you outside. Yes, sir. All right, we have less than 20 minutes. Ryan Chappelle's here. What? Where's Tony? He's in the field. Why is he in the field? He's the agent in charge. He should be here. It was unavoidable. Is there something I can do for you? You can tell me why I wasn't informed of a Mr. Yu being held for questioning in relation to the cargo ship. You can tell him that I've taken over the questioning. Ryan! Where is this Mr. Yu? Will you show Ryan where Mr. Yu is being held? This is a photo of Eddie Kane. We need to take him as quickly and as safely as possible. Once we have the gas canister, bomb squad and hazmat teams will take over. Is all this clear? This is Michelle. Kane's been taken down. The canister's being defused right now. That's the last one. The other three all gave up without a fight. I wish I could say the same for this one. Look, I'm heading back to CTU. I want to see if Lee Jen Yu can shed some light on any of this. Tony, there's something you should know. Ryan's questioning him already. What? What's Chappelle doing there? He heard about Lee Jin Yu being held for questioning and he's taken over. 
deal with him when I get back. Sir, the place is deserted. There's no sign of Daniels. Desler. This place has been cleared out. They knew we were coming. I have more news. I just got a call about the gas canisters from the metro station. About them? It wasn't sarin nerve gas. What was it? They were intricate smoke bombs marked as if they were sarin. Has anything else surfaced? Tony brought in Lee Jin Yu, the missing crewman from the cargo ship, about 45 minutes ago. Hey, Jack. I found something. Out of here. I want you out of here. I can't do that until you tell me everything. You need to start cooperating. Looks like he's been here for a while. A couple days at least. Dog tags. It was a setup. ...of you and a copy of the... Um, yes, it is mine. I, I can give you password. You can see. Then you believe me. What is the password? Dessler. The man you think is Lee Jin Yu is an imposter. Whoever's behind this wanted us to find him and take him in. What are you talking about? Ryan's in questioning Mr. Yu right now. No, we just found Lee Jin Yu's body. He's been dead for several days. You need to place the man you have under arrest, and you need to do it now. Okay. Yes. You need to stop the questioning. No, I don't. We're well, finally... Michelle! Damn it! What's happening? I'm not sure. I'm headed to the tech room to see if I can reset the system from there. Something's going on at CTU. The comm system is down. The phone system is inoperable. My system uplink is offline. I found the real Lee Jin Yu dead, so the man Chappelle's questioning is an imposter. And the subway attack diverted every available field agent away from CTU at the same time. It doesn't add up. Get everyone back to CTU right now. May I have your attention? Who's in charge? Sir? Hello, Joseph. Hello, Peter. You did well. Let's get to work. The following takes place between 1 p.m. and 2 p.m. I think that's all of them. Having the men search again, I don't want any surprises. Yes, sir. You should know that this will not be tolerated. The United... And you should know if you open your mouth again, I'll put a bullet in your head. The effects from the low-level electromagnetic pull should break up in two, three minutes at the most. The system won't be up and running for a couple of hours, but we'll be able to access the files we need with the equipment we brought. Is there something I can do to help? No, I'm trying to reset the system. What's happening out there? Somehow they bypassed our system, probably with a low-level EM pulse. It killed power to the entire facility, including early warning security. Why wasn't the tech room affected? Tech room shielded. We need to get out of here. Head to room M3. It's a type of panic room. We'll be safe there. Tony, it's Jack. Were you able to find anything on that IP address? Chappelle found out. He's given strict orders not to follow through on the trace. Is that Jack? Jack. Ryan, why did you order CTU to stop the trace? You broke into a government building and illegally uploaded restricted software to a terrorist organization. That goes against everything CTU stands for, and that makes you one of them. 
Ryan, I had no choice. The decision... You did have a choice, and you made the wrong one. Now get back to CTU. That's an order. I'm sorry, Ryan. I can't do that. Jack! I want Bauer here. Now. What are you talking about? Okay, Superboy, here's your chance. You get to the water tower and see what you can do. I want whoever's busting in wiped out! Who were those guys? They were men who worked for Sid, a former associate of ours. Peter shot him when we were at CTU. Looking back at us. No. What? It was hit! The synchronizer? It's useless now! This can be taken care of. How? We have less than five hours! How can this be taken care of? We'll be back in 45 minutes. Dessler. Michelle, it's Jack. Jack, if Chappelle finds out I'm talking to you... You know I can't find Kim without your help. What do you need? Madsen had a wife. Her name's Donna. I think she'll be able to lead us to Madsen. She used to live in an apartment complex in Covina. Hmm, nothing in Covina. I'll check postal records, see if there were any change of addresses filed for her. I found a D. Madsen. Used to live in Covina, now she's in Whittier. 2317 Avalon Boulevard, apartment 14. That's it. I'll upload it to your GPS. The following takes place between 5 p.m. I'm a federal agent. I need to ask you a few questions about your husband. I haven't seen that son of a bitch in over a year. The synchronizer will be located in one of the secure labs. Guards will be all over the place, so be careful. If you take too long, I'll come in after it myself, and you don't want me doing that. Stop right there! Let's get back to the base. Can I ask you a question? Now, what's gonna happen in another five hours? The downfall of Los Angeles. What's so important about that thing? You ever heard of seismic deformation? This has to do with earthquakes? It doesn't just have to do with earthquakes. It is earthquakes. The people of Los Angeles have no idea what a night they're in for. Who are you? My name's Jack Bauer. I'm a federal agent. I... He's dead. You and I both know he's not dead. I don't know where he is. I want you... I want you out of my home! Oh. Innocent people. I need you to help me before he kills more. Fine. I need to find Peter. Can you tell me where he is? He's in hell for all I care. He ruined my life. No. You think I'm holding back? I don't know where he is. The truth. I need you to focus. People's lives are at stake. Now tell me, where can I find Peter? I don't know, and I don't care either. He wasn't a husband. He was a monster. I should have killed him when I had the chance. Someone must know. Yeah. There is someone. Name's Del Toro. It's as bad as Peter. 
I've told you enough already. If he finds out I'm... If you want help, you need to start talking now. Don't you think I try getting help? I'm beyond help. I've told you enough. I need to know about Del Toro. Who is he? I want you out. If he finds you here, I'm dead! It's Del Toro. He's my dealer. I'm not proud of it, but that's who he is. I hate them both. I'm done talking about them. Connection. They, they used to trade guns for drugs. And when Peter left, I was stuck with Del Toro and a heroin habit. Calm down and breathe. Everything's going to be OK. Just relax and talk to me. Donna, you need to tell me where I can find Del Toro. I'm not leaving until you help me, so the best thing you can do right now is to co-op. My head is pounding. If you go after him, you're a dead man. Please, Donna, hold it together. If you tell me where he is, I'll leave you alone. He's downtown! Downtown's a big place. I need you to be more specific. He... he operates out of... out of an abandoned apartment building. I don't know. Eighth and Pine somewhere. I'm here to see Del Toro. You know you caught me. I want to see Del Toro. Toro, you are a big help. I'm the one you're after. I want to know about Peter Madsen. I don't know any Peter Madsen. Ah! Madsen! I need to take a leak. I'll be right back. Fine. Listen to me, because we don't have a lot of time. I work for CTU. Why should I believe you? These guys have something big planned, and I just found out what it is. Here. I need you to call CTU. Let them know that the terrorist group that took over CTU is planning to cause a major earthquake. I... Now, I'll get you to a place where you can dial out and... What do I say? Tell them it's an RGO 4444 synchronizer. It's going to trigger the quake sometime before 10 p.m. CTU should be able to lock onto the signal. You got it? Yeah, I got it. She needs to go now. Let her go on a cell. I don't want to have to walk back up there. I'll take her. I'll lock the cell. Don't worry. She won't be out of my sight. Yeah, I bet. Look, there's no cell phone reception down here. You have to find a place of a signal. Keep it short. We don't have a lot of time. Where's the girl? The following takes place between 7 p.m. and 8 p.m. Bauer. I just spoke to Kim. Where is she? Is she all right? She's at Madsen's compound, but she's not sure where it is. She sounds all right. They're holding her captive, but she was able to sneak away to make the call to us. 
Someone on the inside claiming to be with CTU told her Madsen plans on using some sort of synchronizer to set off a major earthquake. What information do you have on the synchronizer? Kim gave us the make and model of it. It's carrier wave base. That's all we know right now. We're still doing analysis. There's something else. Kim took a tracking device with her when she was taken from CTU. Unfortunately, it only has short range. Send me the signal frequency. I know where to look. Sorry I'm late. This is Dr. Jennifer Wright from the Geological Survey Agency. So, you've been briefed on what we're up against. It's frightening, to say the least. So something like this might be possible? Is possible. Los Angeles has been built on a series of fault lines. Some of these lines cross forming tectonic focal points. These are the points that would be most vulnerable to such an attack. And where are these focal points located? I'm sending you a survey map now. If somebody were to try to cause such an attack, what would be their best chance at succeeding? Probably large concentrations of explosives set at major focal points. The explosives would have to be buried extremely close to the focal points, which are deep below the Earth's surface. Only industrial machinery would be capable of doing this, and machines that size aren't easily hidden. Unless the machinery doesn't have to be hidden. Michelle, we need to cross-reference the focal points with existing construction sites with drilling capabilities. Also, see if the frequencies from the synchronizer can be pulled from any of the areas. I'll start the search now. Thank you for your help, Dr. Wright. I have 17 locations where the construction sites with hydraulic drills overlap the tectonic focal points. Only eight of those show carrier frequencies that match the synchronizer. Those are the sites. Dispatch teams. I want this taken care of now. We'll have a new tech arriving in about 45 minutes. He'll be taking over Sean's work. I want him apprised of everything. Okay. This is Jack. Jack, it's me. I wouldn't have called you, but some, something's going on. What? What are you talking about? I, I'm being watched. The same car keeps passing the house. I'm... Did you call CTU or the police? No, you're the first person I called. Lock the doors. Call the police. I'll be over as soon as I can. So what's your story? You've only been a part of this group for what, like a half a day? Something like that. Dave? Dad! It's okay, Kim, you're gonna be fine. Your CTU? Yeah, who are you? Agent Chase Edmonds, DC CTU. What's going on? None of the teams are finding anything, not even the construction sites. What? How is that possible? I don't know. All right, tell them to keep searching. We're running out of time. How deep undercover are you? How much do they trust you? I'm new to the group. Why? They have something, a hard drive. They got it from the CTU raid. If the information on that hard drive gets out, lots of agents' lives will be in danger. I'll keep an eye out for it. You need to get to the other side of the base. The following takes place between 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. We haven't been able to find any of the bomb sites yet, but our teams are... Yes, sir. I will, sir. Yes? I'm Adam Kaufman. I'm supposed to report to... Uh, sorry. I'm Michelle Dessler. Everything's pretty hectic right now. Uh, you should set up over there. Okay. Do you know KS protocol? I was trained on it at Northern Division. Great. Let me show you what I need you to do. They didn't hurt you, did they? No, not too badly. Come on, sweetheart. It's uploaded to my GPS. I'll lead one of the teams. Are you sure about this? Yes, I'm sure. It's the only way we can take out the two remaining sites in time. The teams are ready and waiting for you. A bomb squad will meet you at each site. I 
want that information now. You have the decryption software. What's the problem? It's going to take time to decrypt the hard drive. I told you that. How much longer? A couple hours, at least. You shouldn't lose your temper, Peter. Don't forget who you work for. I don't work for you. Are you Grant? Yes, sir. Agent Tony Almeida. Let's get in there. We don't know how much time we have. That's not the bomb. No, it's the detonation timer. These wires run down to the bomb. Can you cut the wires and disconnect it? That might trigger it. I'll need to disable the timer, then we can deal with the bomb. Dessler. We defused our bomb. How are the other teams faring? You're the first to report. The synchronizer has only one carrier frequency, which means all the bomb detonation times are going to be the same. Alert the other teams. They have a little under 35 minutes left. Tony's team defused their bomb. The others are set to go off in a little over half an hour. Okay, I'm almost there. I'll call you back. Agent Bauer? Yes. Agent Evans, bomb squad. This is Agent Landis. We have about 30 minutes to defuse this. We need to get in there now. Ready. Everybody down! Agent Almeida? What is it you brought me here for? I work for Governor Radford. How does this involve CTU? About two months ago, I came across a threatening email on our server. Governor Radford is involved in terrorist activity. That doesn't make sense. But I know he's involved. Okay, look, this is my key card. It'll give you access to restricted areas like the governor's temporary office. Agent Edmonds, you've been causing quite a stir in the short time you've been in Los Angeles. I've been on the phone with your agent in charge. It seems you haven't been given leave to come to Los Angeles. Ryan, Agent Edmonds has helped this case more agent than- Agent Edmonds has overstepped his authority. He'll be on the next flight to Washington, D.C. And that is an order. I don't know what condition it's in, but here it is. Chase can't go back right now. There's too much going on, and he knows how the other side works. He also just delivered the hard drive to us. That's got to count for something. That doesn't matter, Jack. What matters is he came to Los Angeles without telling his superior. You know I wouldn't ask if I didn't think that there was real merit in him being here. Fine. But as soon as this is taken care of, I want him on a plane back to D.C. Thank you, Ryan. I heard what you said. Thank you. You're a good agent.
you should be resting, sir. It's my hand. Well, let's take a look. Why isn't this healing? It's going to take time. There's something else. What is it, Kevin? It's your heart, sir. The primary arteries are relapsing as a result of the serum rejection medication. What does this mean? It means your body is fighting the medication because your stress levels are up. That means no televised addresses, no public appearances, nothing. Chase, we need to get that CTU hard drive back. Where will it be? think how much. The following takes place between 2 a.m. and 3 a.m. Dessler. It's Jack. Chase is on his way back to you with the hard drive. You're not with him? No, Madsen had Kate Warner, so I split off to find her. They have Kate? She's gone. Madsen has her. They got away. Send a chopper over to the West Vista Road location. Almeida. Tony, it's Adam. I have someone insisting on being transferred to you. She says it's important. Who is it? I don't know. She wouldn't say. All she'd tell me was that she had vital information regarding the governor and that she needed to speak with you personally. All right, patch her through. This is Tony Almeida. Who am I speaking with? My name is Kathy Weiss. I have information you need. What kind of information? I can't tell you over the phone. It has to be in person. Listen, I don't have time. I'm putting myself in danger just being on the phone with you. I need you to meet me. Where? Fisher Pier. 20 minutes. And I want protection. I won't tell you anything unless I get protection. involved. Hello, James. I've been watching the news. You're making quite an impression on the public. We have to meet. Fine. There's a place called Cherry's Diner just past Vasquez Rocks. Dessler. I just found out Radford's connected to Madsen and Chung. 
How is that possible? I don't know, but I have a photo that shows them together. There's a fourth man in the picture I don't recognize. Also, I need you to find Radford for me. Okay, where do I start? All government vehicles have anti-theft tracking systems installed. I need you to tap into Radford's system, tell me where he is. I have a few questions I need to ask him. The following takes place between 3 a.m. and 4 a.m. James. What is it you wanted to see me about? I'm done. I want out. There's too much heat. But you've accomplished so much. Your goals are within reach, James. I don't care about those goals anymore. I don't want to be a part of this. And you, I want nothing to do with you. I'm the one that's going to make you the president of the United States, not you. You think you can get there without me? After everything I've done, the sacrifices I've made, I own you. I've covered my ass, man enough on you to put you away several lifetimes over and it's ready to be released. I want out now. This is over. I underestimated you, James. Yes, you did. James, this is Mandy. Michelle, Radford's been killed. What? He had a meeting with the fourth man from the photo. We need to get the body back to CTU. Dessler? This is Kate Warner. Kate, are you in immediate danger? I don't think so, but I'm not sure. You can't let them know you were free. Just stay there and let us come for you. Now, I need you to keep this line open so we can run a trace and figure out where you are, okay? Okay. This is Radford's laptop. We need to get everything off of it as soon as possible. I'll get right on it. He goes by Max. Probably an alias. We don't know his last name. Look at this. Max is the one responsible for the assassination attempt on Palmer as well as the nuclear bomb being brought into the United States. It looks like he's also the one responsible for organizing the vice president's assassination attempt this morning. Madsen works for him. Wait, go back. There, Warner Industries. What does Warner Industries have to do with this? Kate, they're forcing Bob Warner to deal. They're holding Kate over his head, making him do something he doesn't want to do. Warner Industries is an international shipping corporation. My guess is this guy Max needs to get something out or into the country. But what? I don't know yet. It's got to have something to do with that military facility. Have you been able to pull anything from it? Fort Lesker is an abandoned military base in the desert northeast of town. Nothing's been there for close to a decade. There's no such thing as an abandoned government facility. Something's going on there, and I need to know what it is. I'm headed for the desert. See what correlations you can pull up between Fort Lesker and this guy, Max. Let me know when you've got anything. I'm being blocked. What? By who? Department of Defense. I can't pull anything up on Fort Lesker. Yes? Put him through. Mr. President. Sir, we have reason to believe that the man responsible not only for the attempt on your life, but also for the attempt on the Vice President's life is currently engaged in terrorist activity on American soil. What is this terrorist activity? We're not sure, sir, but we think it involves a military facility northeast of Los Angeles called Fort Lesker. What? It's been shut down for quite some time. We think otherwise, sir. Everything points to Fort Lesker being involved somehow, but the Defense Department has all file access blocked. Sir, we need permission to access those files. Without them, we have nothing. I am giving you permission, Agent Almeida. But you had better be correct. Thank you, sir. Get to work.
Bauer. I have the information you need on Fort Lesker. It's a series of labs handling primarily weapons-grade plutonium that's been seized or confiscated. What do you mean? Well, if the U.S. government catches a ship carrying illegal weapons, much less weapons-grade plutonium, it'll seize the shipments and house them in the States. And that's the connection between Max and Fort Lesker? There's more. We just got word from Dr. Wright that the magnitude of the earthquake was 8.7, and the epicenter was 43 miles northeast of Los Angeles. Where Fort Lesker is located. It means the military facility would have been hit hard. Security would have been little to none for the first several hours. Max wants the plutonium. He's going to force Bob Warner into a trade. Kate for the shipments. I know where Kate Warner is. We need to tell Jack. The last thing we need is Jack being distracted. No one tells Jack about this until his mission is ended. Is that understood? Trucks this way. Where are we heading? Just drive. This is Jack. Where the hell are we going? Just drive. I told you I'd let you know when we get there. That's messed up. I mean, we took the 15, and then exited into what was it? Saugus? Silvis. Now we're in the middle of nowhere. The only reason I took this job was because Virgil said you were a cool guy. This isn't cool. You want to know? I'll tell you. We're going to pick up something from some military building out here. Now, I don't know what we're picking up, and I don't care. Now you know, so shut up and drive. Dessler. Chase is headed to Fort Lesker. I need you to get a visual on the truck he's driving. It's somewhere outside of Silvis. I think I found him. I can upload the tracking to your GPS. You'll have a constant visual of his location. Okay, do it. I've got to get to him. He's my only way onto the base. The following takes place between 4 a.m. and 5 a.m. Not too many guards. Some lab workers. Be clear. Sonny left his radio. It'll be on the tailgate. First shipment is loaded and ready to head out. Good. Any word from Max? No, sir, not yet. That bastard's gonna let me do all the work. I can get... No. I took over this base. I take care of the first load. Yes, sir. Taking over the base. What? Everyone here, they're all working for Madsen. He just took off. Madsen was here? Yeah. Said something about taking the first shipment. He's heading to the docks. See what else you can find. Get back to me. Yeah. This is a restricted area. I was told to report here. By who? Madsen. All right, do what you need to do and get out. I need you to initiate the radiation strand sequence level. Go to hell! I need to initiate a base lockdown. Tell me yeah. how I can make that happen. Go to the main control room. You... You have to use the proper terminal sequence. The sequence, it's yellow, blue, green, Red. Unique. Stay with me. Stay with me. Damn it. Chase, do you read me? Go ahead. Do you know where the main control room is? Yeah, I do. But I can't get there with my current clearance. Find a way. Break cover if you need to, but find a way. You need to initiate a base lockdown. I want nothing to enter. I want nothing to exit. Copy.
Plutonium to the docks. We need to get there now. I trust you've arrived. Yeah. The first ship's being unloaded right now. Everything's going as planned. There's been an incident at the military base. This one shipment will have to suffice. Is Warner cooperating? Yes. He lost one daughter last year. He doesn't want to lose another. Customs won't be a problem. The following takes place between 5 a.m. and 6 a.m. We're approaching the docks now. Copy that, Jack. We're sending back up now. We'll be there shortly. Have a chopper standing by. I'm gonna see if I can help Jack. Tony, can I have a word? Yeah, what is it? Kate Warner's there. What are you talking about? We got a call from her about an hour and a half ago. She's on a ship off Ports of Call. She's on Max's ship. Does Jack know that? No. I can't believe you. You know as well as I do that Kate Warner is a significant part of this. So pull your head out of your ass and start thinking about the situation and not about the protocol. We can set down over there! Full ahead. We're done here. What about the girl? I'll take care of the girl. We were able to pull more information on Max. It turns out he's an arms dealer with ties to the Middle East. He had deals with several terrorist organizations, and after the U.S. found out about the dealings they stepped in, the deals fell through. And when Max couldn't deliver, they forced Max to watch his own children be executed. This is his way of getting back at the United States. I'm gonna try to land on the ship. Just get me close enough to the deck. You don't need to land. It's CTU. Be ready for them when they get here. Yes, sir. It's all right, it's not that bad. We need to get to a hospital now. 